<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at torpedopont.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopont.com. And these are self growing planters. Guys, these planters grow your food with no human intervention. So all I did was drop about 100 seeds in all of these planters, and I harvest beets throughout the year. As a matter of fact, these are dedicated to just beets. I grow them 365 days a year, whether it's cold or not cold. They're constantly growing in this planter. Um, we've already harvested around 25, 28 beets already. We give away people who show up. And uh, in the same plant as you're growing some, um, some uh, what is it, uh, guys? These are kale. <clears throat> and so we're growing kale with the beets at the same time. And each one of these planters, we had a uh, head of celery that we have inside these planters. And we harvested our celery, but we let the plants remain inside of there. So when it gets warm, they'll be able to pop back and uh, grow. So this is the food we get from our torpedo pots. <clears throat> Guys, these are self-growing planters. They grow your food with no human intervention. All you do is put your seeds in your plants and you get a lot of food. As you can see, we've harvested many, many stalks of these, uh, of these uh, kale. And they're delicious, I love eating them. But they're so pretty, aren't they? They're gorgeous. All right, so today what I wanna do is come out and because a lot of you, your gardens are done. You're not watering, it's fr everything's frozen, dude. Everything is frozen, dude. Torpedo Pot grows your food even in cold temperatures. Look, my food grows 365 days a year because I know what to grow and I know when to grow it. All I did with these Torpedo Pots was drop my seeds in and let's pull out a nice beet. I want one for today. I don't know which one I want, but let me see if I can find a big one for you. They're various sizes because they're different growth stages. So we let the bees do what they want to do. Here's a nice, nice big size one right here. Got a lot of leaves on it and everything else. Let's see how big this really is. Let me try another one also. <clears throat> oh, that's just like a big one right there. Very big, big one. All right, wow, that's pretty big. And a more. Alright, well, let me get clear. Guys, these are torpedo pots. All we did was that we threw our seeds in these planters. Just literally tossed them. We don't water. We, all, we don't feed. All we do is supplement the soil so the plants can grow. And so our plants grow 365 days a year. Every time a customer comes to give them a bee, when I'm hungry, I come out and get a bee. And I wanted to eat fresh today. Totally fresh. Nothing but vegetables. What's in here? It got ooh, it got moving around. Ooh, my I don't know what's going in there, but it's got a hold of me. So here's one of my beets. Guys, these are torpedo pots. They grow your food with no human intervention. And I want you to see the healthy food out. Remember now, this is going into the winter right now. And look at this. <clears throat> my torpedo pot grows my food for me and I can eat everything from the root itself to the leaves they're all edible isn't that beautiful I bet you haven't seen a beet that healthy coming out of the uh, going into the winter time have you that's one healthy plant and that healthy plant is going to go in my family's mouth it's going to be delicious we're going to really like it and the color we get from this beet is going to be like nothing we've ever seen before guys these are torpedo pots these planters grow your food with no human intervention. All I did was drop my seeds in this planter, and it grows my beets. When the grounds are hard and cold, I don't come out and harvest my beets. Then when it warms up like it did today, 60 degrees, I can pull out wherever I want to. Your beets are frost tolerant. They should be able to go, not maybe deeply, I don't know. My beets last year went deeply into the winter and came back out. 
we threw these little seedlings into the torpedo pot and the beets grew through the winter time and when uh when spring came it just really took off and started to grow but guys these are the torpedo pots they grow your food with no human intervention all you do is put your seeds and your plants in this planter and you'll have food for the rest of your life it's the winter time going into the winter time guys look who has food who's touching the ground think about that you're spending all that money every year that you call gardening and you're not getting any food. Go figure. Torpedo pot is the way to grow. All you do is drop your seeds in this torpedo pot and look what it does. All natural, all healthy, absolutely beautiful beets that you can have for the rest of your life. <laughs> because all you do is throw your seeds in the planter. Just throw your seeds in the torpedo pot and it grows it for you. I'm gonna get greedy. I'm, I'm, I've got beets in here and I, I wanna get this other one. Oh wow, that's huge too. But I saw another huge one in here. This is greed, human greed. I don't really need it. But because you guys wanna see what the torpedo pot can really do with some of these beets, how big they can actually grow. And that's why I'm pulling it out, mainly for you guys. I want to find me a nice, big, at least juicy one. Is that a juicy one? I don't care. I saw one in here. I'm going to sell it, guys. I'm going to see if I can put this down. Is that it? Hey, yeah, maybe that was it. I don't know. That might have been it. It's not too big. No, it's not too big. I saw another big one in here also. Yeah, and it's good to come out and thin them out. And that's what I'm doing. When I thin them out, I'm giving the other beast a chance to grow. And we want that. We definitely want that. Test me and see how big these things are. Oh, here's another big one. Let's try it. Remember, guys, these are torpedo pots. They grow your food with no human intervention. All I did was drop my seeds in this planter. And voila, they provide me beets for the rest of my life. These planters are dedicated to beets. I have to grow anything else. And the soil? The soil in these planters for these beets, you probably use them for about three to five years. Oh my god, this is a big one, guys. Just take a look at this. Remember now, torpedo pot, all I did was drop my seeds in this planter. Our plants in a planter, trees, it doesn't make a difference. And it grows your food for you. Look how quality of food we're getting. Oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this. Woo! Thank you, Mr. Winter. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wow, I get real food. I get food that only people can dream of. Because guess what? <laughs> we don't use any synthetic fertilizers in our food. We grow food extremely well, and you will never be dissatisfied. Take a look at this. Torpedo pot is the reason why I can eat healthy and be healthy. Unlike you who are still going to the store to get your food during, during the winter time, I don't have that problem. I haven't been to the supermarket, oh, I don't know, maybe about a month, two months, three months, something like that nature. I mean, I'll go for some food, I mean, eggs and staples and things like that, but, you know, dude, for food, when it, when it comes to food, I don't go to the supermarket for food. I grow my food. I go to the supermarket for staples to go with my real food. It's a difference. To you, this is a perishable, it's gone. You sit it on a shelf, you buy it from the supermarket, it's gone within a day. But with torpedo pot, I can grow my food and have it last me for many, many years to come. I don't have the problems that you have. My seeds are pennies on the dollar, and I grow delicious food all of the time. Torpedo pot is no joke. It grows your food. See all that soil in between those, uh, those root systems? Because that's real. That's amazing. That's alive. Isn't that beautiful? And the leaves, they're, they're so fleshy. They're so alive. They're so beautiful. They are so alive and so beautiful. And all of them are edible that you can have for you and your family during the winter time. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com, where we grow food for you and your family. I'm going to show you some more, okay? couple of minutes you're gonna walk out and do some radish and you'll be able to take a look at this radish 
I don't know what this will cost in the supermarket, but I know the value it has for me and the health of my family. I know it costs me less than a penny to grow this one bee right here. The seeds cost less than a penny. And I've got thousands of them that I can use at any time I want to. And that's why I would never run out of food. Just throw my seed in and I just walk away and it grows my food for me. I have to do anything. There's more in here we can pull out, but I'm not gonna pull out more because we're gonna continue to do um, videos like this so you can see exactly what you'll get coming into the winter time. So for these planters, I would assume we did about 30 beets from uh, from these planters, you know, mostly giving them away, stored some. This is a valuable asset. Even if you don't eat beets, because it's so easy to grow them in a torpedo pot, all you do is throw your seeds in. And dude, you have food for, for, for less than pennies on a dollar. And these torpedo pots, they've been growing now for about three years. I don't have to come and touch anything if I don't want to. My torpedo pot itself growing system. It grows by itself. I never water. I never feed my plants again in my life. And this is what I get. I get real food. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? See how natural that is? See how holistic that is? Does that not meet your definition of food? Because you're the true critic, not me, you are. Do you see this? You see how big these leaves are? Dude, this is real food. This is no joke. Look how healthy that is. This is torpedo pot. Grows your food with no human intervention. Let me say this thing, so when I take these beets in, the torpedo pot is so effective at growing anything. We just use them for beets at this time. But when you buy your beets from the supermarket, if you feel that they are so chemically enhanced and they need a cleansing out, take the supermarket beets you get and put them in your torpedo pot. They will grow. And then you'll know they're going through a cleansing process in the torpedo pot, a healing process, where that you know that the chemicals are phased out of the system of the plant. And it'll grow naturally and organically. You can do that with your torpedo pot. Torpedo Pot is no joke, guys. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com, where you will have food for the rest of your life and you will be happy. Talk to you guys later. All right, bye bye. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely beautiful. That's Torpedo Pot. That is Torpedo Pot, guys. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Torpedo pot grows your food for you. You never have to grow your food again. You just simply put your seeds in this planter right here and it grows everything you need at your disposal. You simply take it out and eat it. From the farm to the table. What a beautiful sight. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. And look at these leaves, aren't they beautiful? We can have that every day if we wanted to. But we don't need to, we've got so much. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. Beautiful, guys. I love this. Look at that. Even the soil's all on there. Looks so natural. I love it.